The debate over refugees continues today. Back in September, the White House issued an executive order giving states and localities increased decision-making authority over federal refugee resettlement. North Carolina and Mecklenburg County have now met the new requirement by granting consent to refugee resettlement. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes joins us now with more on the decision. Tanya? So we came to a place today where that decision really matters, a place that works with children in the refugee community every day. Their values right here on the wall behind me, diversity, love, education, respect, the same values that they hope all of us will value. Hi, Jesse. It's after school, and here at our bridge, 150 children are ready to continue their learning. A little about school. Let's read the title all together. You ready? A lot about life in America. Most of these kids refugees living here in Charlotte now. Their families fled from 20 different countries. They are, they are just amazing children. I mean, they're so smart and so funny and resilient. One week from today, communities across the country will have to decide whether they'll continue opening their doors for refugees like the families at our bridge. An executive order signed by President Donald Trump aimed at curtailing immigration allows communities to ban refugees from resettling there. If the communities want to be a place that offer housing, employment options and other resources, they have to opt in. Governor Roy Cooper did. That's who we are as Americans. This is his letter. We asked the governor today about the counties in our state that may be considering opting out. These are people who are escaping persecution overseas in North Carolina, just like many other states, traditionally has been a place where they could come. Mecklenburg, one of several major counties in the state, saying it welcomes refugee resettlement. Something happens rarely. What does that right. mean? Good news for the people at Arbridge who just want to give children a place to believe in themselves and their future. And I just wish people will do more research instead of just listening to that little seed of fear that we hear. And Governor Cooper pointed out that North Carolina is not the only state that is backing refugee resettlement. He says that the majority of states in our country, ones run by Democrats and Republicans, are opting in. Reporting live, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte.